Oh my God, what the heck? The water is dripping in the washroom. <gasps> this is not fun, guys. Good morning again. How is everyone out there? So today's video, you have to stay with me because I'm going to um, share something very important, especially if you are one of the aspirant immigrants here in Canada. And uh, you know what? Oh my God, what the heck? The water is dripping in the washroom. <gasps> Look at that. Holy cow, what the? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Oh my God, what the heck? Why there's a dripping water here? Oh my gosh, good thing I came earlier. Oh my god, so whoever used this one, they didn't claw off. That's why it's dripping. They used it last night, so now it's like, oh my gosh. Let me show it to my husband. Daddy, kita man eh. Oh, mm, ganda ni nga mag-flood ate. Washroom. Nay, nay, nay. Nalipatan yung inlock ato. So nag-flow, flow, flow. Tidanong the whole night. The whole night. Dato yung namin, hanga na i-close. Daddy, I think you're the one who using that. Oh, now I'm gonna clean up this one. It's all water everywhere. You see? Good thing I came earlier. My goodness. Anyway, because I'm going here, I'm here because I'm going to do my laundry. You see? They did the laundry last night, so I will just dry it here. Good thing this is empty. So I still have to wash some of here and at the same time i have to clean up here holy la 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 now i have more job to do my hmm? i thought i'm going to vlog and make a vlog about how you can survive for a minimum wage 15 dollar in canada but now I end up cleaning all this, otherwise it's flooding. That's what happened. That's why you have to be careful. Pay attention, especially when you leave your house for the whole day, you end up going to flood your house. This is not fun, guys. I'm angry to my husband. I told him, you see that? You don't pay attention before you left your clinic. You have to make sure it's all. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, it's going to be my job for at least 30 minutes. So. <laughs> This is what happened and this is real happened because some of my family friend it happened their house there's a leaking in their um, basement or some people if you live in an apartment here in Canada sometimes the second floor or third floor and if you live in a second floor the third floor building if they forgot to close their faucet even though you are renting a place okay it is our responsibility still to check before we left the house, we left the apartment, we left the condo units, okay? Because it happens to some of my friends, sometimes they cannot come to work because their place is uh, flooded, like flooding. You know, water are leaking from the third floor, fourth floor, and then they go to the uh, place where they renting and then you know it's crude insurance is going to pay but it's not good we need to be responsible and what if that is your home what if that is your house then you need to call plumber i give a heck to my husband he turned off his phone because that's why for me before i i left my house i always check make it sure I close, I, no oven on, no water leaking. 
No way, Jose. You know? See this? If you are going to work as a janitor in Canada, this is going to be part of your job. Cleaning up the toilet, cleaning up all the sink, doing the maps on the floor. You know, janitorial jobs, but actually it's easy job. <laughs> and uh, anyway, while I'm doing my cleaning here, I'm going to do my uh, laundry. So they washed it last night, so I will just put it in the dryer, okay? so this is what i really love here in canada i already make a lot of videos about the laundry it's easy easy pc just uh wash them and put all in the dryer i will just uh dry and wash more clothes so that's where easy, easy peasy. So they're so busy last night, hey. Remember this clinic, massage clinic, 12 tribes in Calgary. They also have a physiotherapy and not just only for massage. So if ever you live in Calgary, you need a massage. Oh my gosh. This is the place where you can go I uh, make it sure this is all clean. Remove this, clean up this. Because if you forgot, tendency it will create fire. Where's my garbage? Here. So, I'm going to put some uh, fabric softener. I'm going to put some fabric softener to make it smell. Smells good. I just put two pieces. Actually, it's not necessarily, especially these sheets they're using in the massage, but I love to do it, do it, you know. Okay, let me just dry. Turn it on, turn it on. <laughs> it's so easy to wash here in Canada, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> and, uh, I still have some laundry to do here, but it's not much, hey? So this one, while I'm drying, I will just uh, wash more. You see that? You can do all five things at once in Canada. <laughs> so I'm going to wash this one while I'm doing, finishing all the dry the floor and uh, because tonight they're going to use this one again. Mostly in this uh, clinic, guys, this massage place, they do uh, mostly people wants to have a massage in the evening. It's because, you know, people are working in the daytime, so they come like evening. So mostly in the evening, they are fully booked. But if you want daytime, come over here, okay? Stop by. Let me know, okay? Then I will just put the saba sabun. Just put it here, right? So it depends on how many soap you're going to put. There is also a level for this, but for me, I'm going to just uh, do this. Put it all the way. <laughs> and because this is medium, this sheets is not much so there's a small medium and large so if you're going to wash only like three pieces of sheets or like you know or clothing just put in a small then you can save more water but this one I will just put in medium and then I will just turn it on turn it on that's easy peasy oh my god this is my morning routine here in Canada in Calgary, guys, if this is your first time, I'm Sarah Buyukan. I love to share about life, reality in Canada, jobs, uh, immigration, news update, okay? 
but I don't give job offer to anyone. Some of you guys are asking me like, give me a job, can you hire me, can you bring me to Canada? I don't do that, okay? There is no way I can bring you to Canada because uh, I'm not an agency, so don't beg me, don't ask me about, you know, I'm already giving you some information. So those are the things you can learn information from me. That's how I'm helping you, okay? Hiya, cow. Let me dry all the corners here, just to make it nice and clean. There you go. Yeah. 